Okay, we're going to try a little tutorial for the website here on solving two-step equations. So we're going to answer this question. What value of m makes the equations true? So we're going to use the method we've been doing in class, isolating that variable. In this case, the variable is m. And in question number one, the m is on the left side of the equation. So we're going to focus on that left side of the equation, doing whatever we can to get m to be isolated or by itself. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract 5 from each side. We make these 5s cancel out because 5 minus 5 is 0. So all you're left with here is 3m on the left side. It's going to equal 20 minus 5 is 15. Now obviously we're not done. m is not all by itself. It says 3m equals 15, so we're going to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 leaves me with 1m, and m equals 15 divided by 3 is 5. Let's try again. Number 2 is a very similar problem. Negative 5m plus 2 equals negative 23. Once again, the left side has the variable, so we're going to start over there. We're going to subtract 2. Remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. 2 minus 2 is 0. I bring down my negative 5m, and that's equal to negative 25. Now to get m by itself, you have to divide by exactly what's in front of the variable, because it means negative 5 times m, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5. Negative 5 divided by negative 5, they cancel out, so I'm left with m equals negative 25 divided by negative 5 will be positive Okay? Let's try these two on the bottom now, number three and number four, that involve a fractional coefficient. Okay? Here it says m divided by three plus eight equals ten. So I'm gonna look at the side with the variable, the left side. And I always start by either adding or subtracting. So in this case I'm going to subtract eight from both sides. Negative eight is the additive inverse of positive eight, so we say they cancel. And all I'm left with is m divided by 3. And that's going to be equal to 10 minus 8 is 2. Now, if in number 1, when we had 3 times m, I had to divide by 3 to isolate the variable. And in number 2, where I had negative 5 times m, I had to divide by negative 5. I'm going to do the opposite just like that. In number 3 here, I'm going to multiply both sides by positive 3. That makes the 3's cancel, and all you're left with is m equals 6. Okay? Now number 4 is very similar. Again, left side has the variable, so this is where I'm going to do my work. I'm going to add 1 to both sides to get rid of that negative 1. Get some cancel. And I'll be left with m divided by negative 2 equals negative 9 and positive 1. That's a war negative 8. Now the opposite of dividing by negative 2, I have to multiply by negative 2. Remember, that to be the exact same number, so they cancel out. Now all you're left with is m being equal to negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. So check your notes and you know, hopefully you have this written down, and hopefully seeing these worked out in a step-by-step -step explanation will help you guys out. Thank you.